Do you think that I'm a good mom? Um, I think so. Do you think so? Do it for the love and I do it for the life. Hey, stop when we start, we go, we go get it done. Start when we stop, we go, we go get it done. Get it when we start, we go get it done. Start when we stop, we go, we go get it done. We go, we go get it. We go, we go get it. Hey. Y'all saw me working out on my treadmill for 10 minutes and I was having a whole ass conversation with y'all and it didn't pick up any of the audios. All I really wanted to say while I was on the treadmill is that I wanted to wait until I got off the treadmill to give you guys a little life update on everything that has been going on since I uploaded my 2024 creative goals video because life has been hectic and I'm not really sure how to navigate it. I got a little emotional or I've been a little emotional lately and I just feel like I need to <clears throat> feel it, face it, share it together. So Kira's on her way to the gym right now. I just wanted to share this really quickly because I know when she gets here, I probably might not be in the mood to like talk and sit down and basically share everything that I wanted to share. Incline dumbbell chest press. You see like this chest press thing? Look, this is the chest press, right? This, right? This is fine as a 10, but my arm, look at my elbows. If I were to push it out, this arm hurts so bad, I can't even, I don't know, I can't even do it with this weight. I need to do heavier, but my arm can't take it. I was just blushing just now. Cause I was here doing my workout. And then I look up, and all I see was Eddie and Amali. He walking? It looked like he was walking, because she was sleeping when I left. <laughs> he just texted me, so, um, I just stalked someone. Right now? <laughs> just, and, and that's why I was like, are you, were you coming in here, are you walking? He's just walking, just walking with the body. That's so cute. Let's do some shoulder presses. I look skinty. It's flat. Your butt isn't flat. It's not what it was two yeah, weeks ago. So since I'm not really, saying what I wanted to say in this video, I might end up doing it in the car before Eddie goes to work because I know I probably can't talk when the kids is at the house acting crazy. Just watch me work out for now. This is my decompress before I go upstairs and, mm -hmm. That's good. and deal with them kids. I told Eddie, I was like, this is the most I've screamed or yelled this the past two months? Yeah in six years of parenting. I just had a baby. My postpartum hormones are off balance. What you going to do to get balanced? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. This morning I was perfectly fine. I was talking to them kids. Sage and Beige had, this, they had their little thing going. He mad at her. She mad at him. Both of y'all figured that shit out. Give each other a hug or something. I said something like, you don't want to do that? Go chill in your room for a second. Now he's running. So we in the kitchen, you know, the kitchen island. So I'm going this way, he going that way. So I'm running around. You are not about to have me chasing you around this island right now. I've been talking to you very calm this entire time. I'm right now, I'm getting frustrated, Sage. Get in your fucking room. I don't know if I said fucking. I said, go in your room. Mind you, Eddie is in the bed, knocked out sleeping. And I dragged his ass in the room and I put it in the room and I closed the door and Eddie came out and immediately I was like talking to him. I get triggered so easy and then when I explain it it doesn't seem like that's something you should get triggered for but in the moment I get so mad so when I'm trying to explain it to Eddie it's like okay <laughs> so what was the problem again I was like bitch I don't fucking know anymore I don't know what the problem was let's see if your girl can do a push-up I'm like don't go to work please don't leave me home with them, please. <laughs> All these kids just outside. Ain't no way, ain't no reason why these kids need a week off for dinner, for one dinner. <laughs> they got a whole week off. I ain't got nothing else to do. I'll see y'all when I get in the car. So mommy came to Target really quickly to buy diapers and I ordered it online and they're not here yet and we have to go because we have to go get daddy from, daddy has to go to work. So I think we need to get out the car really quickly and maybe get the diapers. 
because I don't think I can wait in the car for them to pack it up. Bro, everything that I wanted to upload today or record is not working. Look at her, she's crying because she's actually so sleepy. She's actually wearing clot diapers right now, but this has been my first child that I haven't really, haven't been really consistent with clot diapers because having three kids at this point and having to wash all of them, it's a little overwhelming. Plus I feel like the diapers that I have aren't as absorbent, so they leak. Can I have your hand please? Thank you. So I'm just gonna try and go inside real quick and, thank you, go inside real quick and pick up the diapers so I can rush home. And the thing is, no, this target is huge. Now I have to do what I didn't want to do, which is go and find it while I have no time to be walking around this store. Life is lifing right now, y'all. I just checked my, um, my order date of when I ordered diapers last time. It's been exactly three weeks since I bought diapers last time. And if I were to use regular cloth diapers, there's never, there was never a chance that I needed to spend so much money. I prep, that's practically $50 a month. That don't make no sense, bro. So I came to buy size one. And I think they said they only had one in stock. So if they had already picked it up, I'd be pissed because right now, as you can see, I don't see near size one here. Millie Moon diapers, size three, size four. Did they pick it up already, bro? Let me check my phone and see if they processed the order. It still says processing. What am I doing wrong right now? What am I doing wrong? We gotta go back. So I had to wait all the time. Maybe they have it at the counter. Excuse me, I have a question. So if they already pulled it, where would I go? Cause it's still processing. So where right. should I go? How long did you order it? Um, like 45 minutes ago. What kind of diaper was it? It was Millie Moon. It was just size one. Let me get sexy looking. Okay, thank you. I think this is it. There's like a box of diapers right there. And I'm just trying to see if that is what I'm looking for. Is it that at the bottom? Well, That's how I was looking at it. I'm like, it's size one. And I'm like, I don't know if it's mine. Yeah. Is it a size one? Size one. Yeah, because that's exactly what I was looking for. Uh, so how do I clear so it doesn't I look would like... just purchase it and can cancel that. And just cancel it? I think you can just cancel that. If okay, it's order. let's see. Thank you so much, you as well. Thank you so much, you as well. Thank you. Come on, baby girl. Having these clot diapers, it's very hard because the difference between the clot diapers and the disposable diapers is that disposable diapers are way more absorbent so you don't have to change your baby as often. And one of the downsides with that is because you don't have to change them as often, they don't realize how wet they are so they can stay in a diaper for long. They could end up with diaper rashes and all that stuff because they're sitting down in their pee. Whereas with the clot diapers, they'll definitely feel that they're wet sooner. So you have to change them more often. Currently, when the baby's sleeping, I don't change her after I put her to bed. So I already know that if I were to have these clot diapers, I would have to be waking up more in the night to change her due to the fact that she's either gonna leak through the diapers and wet the bed, or um, she's just gonna feel uncomfortable and just wake up naturally. Cause right now, even holding her in my hand, I can feel her butt wet and you don't get rest because if you feeling wet, of course you are gonna wake up because it's like, change me please. I'm just torn between my love of my eco-friendly clot diapers and not having to damage the environment and saving money. But right now, it's been very hard to live that lifestyle when I have three kids that's needing me, depending on me, and I have to do laundry and do all of that stuff. So I understand the convenience of having a disposable diaper. With me trying to navigate everything right now, I'm trying to make life as simple as possible because to be honest with y'all, this postpartum journey, as much as I said it's been an easy transition, it's hard right now, now that I don't have my husband home all the time or my mom here. So I'm just trying to navigate the best that I can, make do with my time, still prioritize my fitness, like I'm always in the gym still. So I'm glad that I started working out because I can still like find time for myself that way, but, when I have all these hours home with these kids, sometimes I feel like I'm going insane. 
my main thing that I wanted to cover in this video, and it's crazy because I still haven't <laughs> talked about it yet, was the goals that I set for myself as a creator. I was going to say, fuck what I said, it don't mean shit now. Because baby, I felt like I bit off more than I can chew. And it sounded good in the grand scheme of everything. Like I love to plan and write things down and set my goals, but it's not often that I achieve my goals in the deadline that I set for myself because I always feel like I need to be doing more when really and truly I just need to kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. If you haven't seen the 2024 creator goal video, I'll link it below and I'll put it in the eye. Although I know that my goals are a little bit skewed and a little bit, um, not really realistic for my lifestyle in the moment. So I just wanted to give a brief update on where I'm currently at. I remember saying that I want to be consistent with our podcast, my husband and I's podcast, which is a vulnerable mom and dad podcast. Now it's almost to the point where I want to dead the podcast in total, like completely dead it because my husband got back to work and for us to be a vulnerable mom and dad, it's kind of hard for us to set aside the time to batch content or record content and have stuff in advance because I don't want to feel like I have to record every single week because that's not possible. I really need to batch content in advance and we really haven't had the time where we can sit down. Beige, I am speaking. Can you please be quiet? Thank you. I haven't really had the time where it was just us, Amali. If it's not one child, it's the next. She don't like when the car is stopped, so right now I'm at the red light, so clearly I can't do anything. Like I said, I don't really have the capacity to sit down and have uninterrupted time with my husband to be able to batch record those, those episodes. The last thing I want to do is put out like one episode and then I don't have episodes for a next month or a next two months or something like that. So a vulnerable mom and po dad podcast, don't ask me about that. The next thing was my a vulnerable mom Facebook group. That's another thing that I feel like I do not have the capacity to maintain. And with the Facebook group, because, because I am the only one running the page right now, I knew that I wanted to grow to like 500 members, but even having that amount of people, I don't know how I can make it sustainable if I am currently the only one like contributing to the content in that page. Yes. I don't know, I'm just a little, I'm getting a little frustrated and I'm getting a little overwhelmed because I was trying to talk, and when I was talking, you were talking, and then when I was talking, then Amali was crying, and then I know that I have to rush to get home because Daddy has to get to work, and then I know that I have to be home with you guys all the way till midnight tonight, and it's just a lot for Mommy to handle right now, and I don't know if I can handle everything by myself. So I'm just feeling a little overwhelmed and sad at the same time. I was crying a little bit, yeah. Daddy cries very quiet. Um, I feel like I'm trying, but it's like the efforts that I'm putting in place, I feel like I'm not putting my efforts in the right place. Sometimes I just feel like, why? Why am I doing this? Like, am I supposed to just take my kids and put them in school and go walk a regular job? Like, what exactly am I trying to do? Share my life, okay, I share my life and then what? Like, what am I getting from this? So I'm, 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 just, I'm just in a funk. I'm just in a funk, really. So as much as I'm sitting here trying to talk and I'm saying the things that I don't want to do, maybe I should just flip it and say what I'm going to be focused on. Even saying that, it's like I say I'm going to be focused on something and then I don't end up doing it. And I hate when I put my words out there and then I don't hold true with the things that I said I'm going to do, then it feels like I am failing. and. Although failure is never something that I am afraid of because I failed multiple times before. But I also know that following through and completing things has always been my problem. And 
I think one of the biggest things is that I would say things and I'm not following through to completion because I overwhelm myself and I don't focus on just one thing at a time. Why do I feel like I need to be doing the most? So I think the only things that I really want to focus on currently is my Patreon account and my YouTube channel. I'm really just trying to figure it out, y'all. Let me actually call Eddie to make sure he's not sleeping because when I told him I have beige with me, he didn't answer to that. So let's hope that he's awake. I just want to make sure you're not sleeping. I have set uh, an alarm in the home pad. Why is your drawers down? Huh? Why is your drawers down? All right, I just parked the car so you can walk down with Sage or something so I can walk back up. I don't know. You can actually subscribe to my Patreon. I do have a special running for the rest of November and I may extend it to December, who knows, um, till you get 50% off for your first month off of any of my tiers. So any of the monthly membership, any of the annual memberships, you can get 50% off. And I'll actually leave the code below. And even that, like, I don't even want to continue promoting my Patreon because sometimes, like, a lot of people join my Patreon just to see the stuff that's on there and then they cancel. So it's like, am I even talking about what the benefits are? Or am I even really being as consistent as I need to be on the Patreon to provide the value that I know that I need to give to my target audience? Because sometimes a lot of these men still joining my Patreon and then canceling right after they join. Like, what are you on my page looking for? What are you on my page looking for? So some of those do get a little like discouraging when people join my Patreon, watch whatever they need to watch and cancel the membership. Little things like that. Like, I don't even feel like sharing the discount code here on this YouTube video because obviously YouTube is public platform. So any and everybody can see it, but I don't want to be for any and everybody. I don't want everybody in my business. And I've said that before, like I don't want to be big, well-known. I just want my little pocket of people to be there and get what they need to get from me. And we can be able to have that community where we can learn, grow and like mess with each other. Like how can we be a community that way? But I don't want to be a vulnerable mom, this big multi-million dollar brand type stuff. Like, that's not what I want for myself. Because um, I just want to live my life peacefully, just knowing I can get up and have the flexibility and the freedom to be able to come and go as I please and have the financial stability to be able to do that without the expectation and the demand of everybody tugging at me at the same time. So the past couple of weeks, like I've been volunteering a lot at my son's school. And then we went to the Everglades one day and we were like watching alligators and all of that stuff. Like I wasn't even present on social media because I was so present with the kids and actually not really because I was recording on the camera. But although I wasn't on social media, I was there interacting with the kids and it felt so purposeful being that I still want to homeschool my kids, but I feel like I don't have the mental, like the knowledge to be able to like teach him effectively and give him all the tools that he needs. But being there in the school with the teacher, I feel like collaborating with her was definitely something that I align with and I do want to do more of that. So I've been seeing a lot of people more in person as far as the community versus it being online. So I'm trying to lean more into stepping out of my comfort zone and introducing myself in public spaces. So although I have like the merch that I want to sell, like if I have it in my trunk, I can sell it to the people that I'm interacting with, like the moms that I see versus trying to target a massive audience outside, knowing that that's not really who I'm trying to reach. Like, who am I really trying to reach? Like, I'm still trying to figure all of this out really and truly, but I know my people are going to find me. And if you're watching this and you my people, Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. But it's just a hard transition, especially, um, I don't know if I touched on this, but I do feel like I have some sort of like hormonal imbalance because I've been triggered a lot lately to the point where I'm yelling way more than I've ever done in my life. Like, not in my life, but like in my parenting journey. In the six years, oh, now Eddie's coming here. Now I have to sit here and try to talk. So Eddie's about to go to work. Okay, beige. Okay, beige. You can stop talking right now. In the six years that I've been a parent, this is the most that I've yelled. Like the past two months has been the most that I've ever yelled ever. And I don't know what it is. I love you. I love you too. Have a good day. I love you, Daddy. Have a good day. Hmm? 
knowing that I'm really like passionate about parenting, it's hard to try to create content around like positive discipline or parenting or what I've been doing to like manage tantrums or like how I'm navigating that. But at the end of it all, at the core of who I am, I'm still a vulnerable mom. So I shouldn't have to wait until everything is perfectly good and curated for me to feel like I can just share my story because at the end of the day, can you please stop that noise back there? I'm trying to speak. So you see stuff like that? Like I get, I get annoyed so easily. Sage, yes. how are you? Good. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Sit down. Ask the question. No, sit down is not a question. Do you think that I'm a good mom? Um, I think so. Do you think so? How do you feel about me being your mom? What are some things that you like and what are some things that you don't like? I like that you hug me and I don't like when you yell at me. I believe that. Why do you think I yell at you? Because you don't listen. We're going to get out in a second. I am having a conversation with Sage, okay? I don't like when I yell at you either. So what do you think we can do to make this relationship better? Yeah, we keep getting mad at each other a lot of times. We do get mad at each other a lot of times. Yeah, like a million. Yeah, so what can we do to not get mad at each other? If our souls a hug, like hugs make me feel better and I hugs make you feel better too hugs do make me feel better but you know sometimes when you're really mad and i ask you for a hug you never give me a hug you just like want to go in your room like you want to get space because like in the moment when you're mad you don't want to give a hug well only when you're mad at me not sad at me we're still trying to figure it out okay Okay. I really want to be a better mom, and I don't like when I yell because it doesn't make my body feel good, and I don't like it when it makes you feel that way either. So mommy's going to try to be better. Yeah, because it actually really makes me sad a certain percent. It makes you sad when I yell? Yeah. So how can you try to listen more? Mm -hmm. Is it hard for you to listen? Yes. Is there anything you want to say? Say subscribe to my mommy's channel. Subscribe and like to my mommy's channel. Thank you guys. And comment if you like mommy's channel. Just going to end. Like and subscribe. So I'm going to end this part and take all the kids upstairs because they're clearly ready to go upstairs. But I wonder and I'm not sure if I really gave the update that I really need to give. But I'm hoping that I can compile this and make it make sense so stay tuned for the next video like i said i'm gonna try and upload youtube videos every single wednesday and then you can check me on patreon for exclusive content and to join the community i'll link all the stuff below and i'll just see y'all in my next video bye